Hey guys, welcome back. Orbaum here, and we're here for week six of the CPL against the Louisville Darmanitans, my brother Goo. <laughs> He's a great guy, really funny, really awesome, um, and we're going to battle him this week, and you guys know how nervous I get. I'm just going to go ahead and accept the match. Be sure to watch the team builder. The annotation should be around here, most likely, um, so check that out. Look at his team. It's so frightening. Uh, he has no way to get rid of hazards, of course, so we want to go ahead and get, uh, get those up. Um... I think we're good to just start with Cacturn. He, I doubt he's going to want to stay in against Cacturn if I uh, if he starts with Seismitoad. And nothing else really does well against Cacturn in this team. Um, <clears throat> anyways, before we continue on, yes, I know loud background noises, like five fans going on in the house. We have a broken pipe in our house, so I'll just leave it at that. We have to have like five fans to like uh, ventilate the walls because there's water all over the walls. So. Yep, but bear with me guys, I'm going to try to adjust it in the editing, but there's only so much I can do. I do just want to start with Cacturn. I'm afraid of him starting with Tornadus though. So I think my safer bet is Lando. Lando doesn't do shit for me this game, so I'm just going to go with Lando, whatever. So it's going to have fun. And yeah, okay, so this team's pretty frightening. Um, I'm gonna keep something open in the back here to write down any notes in. I'm gonna go ahead, you guys can't see it, but I got it. So what do we have here? Tokikiss mercs his team. Like, Tokikiss, like, legit just destroys his team. Uh, Kabutops, uh, I really hope Kabutops can destroy his team. It doesn't look like it will, though. I really, really wanted to run a really solid set of Kabutops. I hope that's not a substitute Trevenant, because that could be an issue. Uh, we do outspeed... I hope we outspeed Tornadoes after the uh, weak armor, <clears throat> assuming it's not scarfed. And we have to get rid of the Seismitoad, which the only way to get rid of it is with Gengar, so we have to be really safe with Gengar. I'm actually going to write that down. Safe with Gengar. Only way to beat S Seismitoad. As he does start with Jay-Z. Okay, so this thing... I don't really care what it does. I want to get up rocks right away. If this thing dies, what does it benefit? How does that benefit me? It does put in. Um, let me go ahead and do slash calc. Let me pull that up just in case. Let me go ahead and uh, there we go. Set that up. So now that's ready. He's probably just going to U-turn here. I'm going to stealth rock. Yeah, there's a the U-turn. He's going to take that nice rocky helmet damage, and he's life orb. Okay, he's good to know. I'm going to write that down. Um, Life Orb Torn, which is an issue. Uh, but now I'm going to U-turn. He might go for Ice Beam here, which, you know, if he does, that's fine. Uh, my switch into this, since I don't really have a Spadef wall, is Scizor, sadly. Actually, it's Cacturn. Because there's no way he's going to be able to knock me on one hit, and there's no way he's going to want to stay in either. So I'm just going to keep getting up hazards. Uh, if he gets up rocks, it doesn't really affect me too much, because it's not like I'm... I mean, it's going to affect Tokikis, but not really. Uh, so I just have to keep playing this game. This is the kind of... This is a different game than most weeks for me, because uh, for this game, I have to play like I'm playing a regular OU match, because I don't have a game plan against a lot of his team. A lot of his team just... It's too its too much for me to handle, you know? I'm going to go into Cactor, and hopefully he doesn't have Ice Beam. He's probably just going to go for Scald. Uh, as he gets up his own rocks, which is fine with me. I am going to get up my spikes right now. Uh, if, he, if he shows me the ice beam, that's great. If he doesn't show me the ice beam, that's fine. He's definitely going to switch out here. I almost want to go for leech. But if he goes into a uh, torn, that's going to be an issue. Uh, I wonder how much I'm going to do to Tornadus. Let's find out. Let's see. Cacturn. Are you spikes? So no, I don't want any investment. Let's just say uh, 8 investment, Sucker Punch versus Torn, Tornadus T, definitely Life Orb, uh, so we want Jolly because that's fine. Uh, Sucker Punch does a pretty hefty amount, does 40%, so it's good to keep in mind, 40% uh, is a pretty nice amount. It's, he's going to come in on, uh, he's definitely going to U-turn though, Ugh. and I don't, I don't have, once again, I don't have any special walls, that's why that Tornadus is such an issue. I was... I really hoped he wouldn't bring Tornadus, but that's fine. Um, Cacturn doesn't really need to... Mm. I have to keep Cacturn alive, not because he's useful, but because I want him to. I want it as a bluff for the Seismitoad. It doesn't look like he's running Ice Beam, and hopefully Showdown isn't going to crash on us. 
because Showdown has been having server issues today. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause until they make some move, guys. Be right back. Alright, guys, we're back because he does go into Jay-Z here. So now we're in a predicament. I don't want to reveal my spiky shield. I also don't want Cacturn going down. And Life Orb, Life Orb, like, does Life Orb Heat Wave kill? Heat Wave, he doesn't even have Heat Wave. Focus Blast kills, oh yeah, Heat Wave definitely kills if Focus Blast kills. Um, I'll have a switch into this again, because Toki Kiss can't come in because of rocks. And uh, I, I'm okay with the rocks being there, I just have to make sure I come in on Pokemon that don't threaten me. Heat Wave is an issue if he wants to go for it. My only thing here is Kabutops. I don't think anything can knock out Kabutops, and Kabutops is only here to kill the Jay-Z. And um, he might not hard switch. So I'm just gonna hard switch into Kabutops here. Because he goes for U-turn, that does so much damage. Is he a physical, is he physical? Oh, I actually have to calc that now. Torn, oh, because they do run special, um, they do run a little bit of attack. Kabu tops. Oh, you physical attacker. What's my set? Um, 36 HP. So let's do 36. 36 HP, U-turn does, that, 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 if that, if that was a roll, that was absolute max. <laughs> Anyways, now he has to choose what's going to come in here because this thing definitely outspeeds everything. But I'm going to keep this thing alive because I have the Endure still. I want to keep this alive for the Jay-Z, but Jay-Z is just going to keep wearing itself down with a Stealth Rocks on the field. And it's going to take, keep taking Life Orb Recoil. And then I can come in with, uh, with Scizor and kill it pretty easily. I'm going to just check. Actually, as soon as Scizor comes in, um, Scizor kills something from the looks of it. Yeah, Scizor, I mean, I wouldn't say easily, but after a Life Orb hit, definitely, it's definitely going to be knocked out. As he goes into Thomas here. Yeah, I'm just going to go back into Cacturn, I'm not taking any risk. If he goes for a Ground-type move, that's great, because uh, I resist that, as long as he doesn't have the Ice-type move. I'm going to keep playing it safe. I don't want to play anything risky, I'm going to keep playing it safe until... I can uh, get some kills in. As he does go for Toxic, which is unfortunate for me, for sure. Um, there's still no way he's going to stay in here. But spikes are important, so I'm just going to get up spikes again. Uh, spikes actually helps me def defeat his whole team, so I'm just going to keep doing that. Um, he's not going to be recovering enough here soon, so... I probably should have leech seed that actually now that I think about it because I want to I want to keep putting him in range. Um, he's definitely going for U-turn here. I can't see any other play. He might go for the heat wave. But once again, I just don't I just don't need Kabutops. I I have to play safe here. If Kabutops is going to be no my weakness policy, not my weakness policy. But here I can actually just go for a Stone Edge. So I'm just going to do that. I can get off some pretty nice damage against the uh, Seismitoad, and at this point, I can just knock off the Seismitoad too. Nothing's gonna want to take a Stone Edge besides like the Seismitoad. Maybe even the uh, actually these three Pokemon, Seismitoad, Trevenant, and Zygarde, are gonna want to take a Stone Edge, but they're not gonna take it well because I'm a Kabutops max attack. As long as I don't miss, if I whew, I hope I don't miss here because this thing's actually a huge issue to my team. So if we could land this Stone Edge, that would be phenomenal. Ah. <laughs> uh, Anyways, because just because of the fan guys, I'm going to keep pausing between plays, so we'll be right back. Oh. Alright, he's back. He switches into the Seismitoad. He takes that Stax damage as he does take a uh, nice 20% from that, uh, what's it called? From the Stone Edge. And here, I'm just going to knock off because, once again, Kabutops can't come in anymore. I do not, I do not plan on defogging. I don't even think I have defog on this Soka case. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't plan on defogging, so I'm just going to knock off here. I'll get rid of his leftovers, that way he can't he can't come in and out anymore. And um, yep, 26%. Um, scald kills, which is fine. 
He doesn't look like he can touch my uh, cacturn though. So I am going to get up my last layer of spikes. And uh, I don't know what he's going to go for here, but Cacturn has done its job once it gets up his last layer of spikes. Now I just have to keep it for sucker punching and uh, spiky shielding, especially against the Medicham. Medicham is what I'm worried about. Medicham is scary. I have to keep Gengar alive for Medicham. I have to keep Gengar alive for Trevenant. Uh, Toxic Crook, because as you guys know, I do have that Colbert. So as long as, Stone, as long as he doesn't get a crit with it, I'm fine. Because even after Stealth Rock damage, I'll be okay. This Gengar is not coming in unless it's going to guarantee you get a kill. I'll tell you that much right now. And uh, at this point, I can start cleaning up with Scizor. Um, Landorus too, because Landorus does outspeed the majority of his mons. Um, plus, I can intimidate the Zygarde. As he does deal for the Earth Power, I get up my last layer of spikes. And uh, I don't think there's anything he can do here. I'm just going to I'm gonna cut the bullshit, go for the Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch should do a pretty decent amount. He might just go for Earth Power again, because there's no way he's going for a Water type move here. He's definitely sacking off this thing. And I don't want to switch into Gengar. Um, will Landorus kill? Let's find out. Oh, let's do, uh, let's do Seismitoad. I am all sorts of everywhere with my spelling today. Any defensive Seismitoad versus uh, Landorus. Landorus T. Let's just say Choice Scarf because I am max attack. Earthquake does do 45%, 38 to 45. So I'm just going to hard switch into Lando here. I want to keep my Cacturn alive. I doubt he's going for Scald. As he goes for Earth Power again, and here I am just going to Earthquake. Uh, he could switch into the the uh, Jay Z, but there is absolutely no point for him to do that. Um, at this range, I think I can just go for Stone Edge on the Jay Z if he wants to bring that in. Um, Landorus is nice against the Zygarde and the Medicham, but it's definitely not necessary because I still do have Gengar. And Gengar can just uh, icy win the thing. Zygarde's an issue because of Dragon Dance, so I have to keep that in mind. I have to make sure that's why I got up all these hazards. There's no way I'm getting rid of them. There's no way he's getting rid of them. So these hazards plus Bullet Punch, plus Sucker Punch, which is another reason why I kept him alive. But he can just actually, actually I can just bring in the Landorus for Rocky Helmet, um, Spiky Shield for the Cacturn. I don't know. This Zygarde's such a scary, scary threat. If he gets the plus one, that is. Like, plus one is going to merc my team. That's why I'm doing this. Hopefully he's not running Stone Edge, so I can actually go into Toki Kiss too. And if he's running Outrage, that's even better, because I can go into Toki Kiss and uh, roost up on the Outrage. As he goes into Trevenant here. Do I run Knockoff? No, I don't run Knockoff. So I'm just going to U-turn here. The Emo Tree. I want to see what he has. He definitely has Protect. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm just going to U-turn here. Uh, he's probably going to Willow. I'm gonna go. Should I go into Cacturn? There's no point in going into Cacturn. Actually, my thing. I think I have to go into Kiss here. Actually, I can go into Scizor. Because once again, I don't need health on my Scizor. And these things don't run anything to hit Scizor with, and they're not that strong. And I'm pretty sure I'm running Pursuit on my Scizor. So, Pursuit Technician Boosted should be able to knock it out after this U turn damage. And if he Willow with me, that's fine. I think, I don't know if that's actually fine, because Togekiss can only heal Bell on the likes of this Pokemon. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see for sure. Um, I think I might just go straight to Togekiss, though, because I feel like that's way safer for me. Hopefully he doesn't just sub up here, and we'll be back when he makes a play. Okay, so I definitely, I, I got off my U-turn damage. That U-turn did 24%, so if I calc that up... Versus Trevenant. So you use Status Absorber to do that. Um, you turn to 25%, which means he's definitely running more defense than this. So he might be in max defense. Trevenant, you use Subseed maybe? Um, what happens if I do max defense? 252. This is Adamant too, isn't it? No, it's not Adamant. But I, the U turn to 24%. So yeah, he's max defense. Which means if one air slash should kill it. Let's go to Tokis. Tokis is the safest mon I can use against this thing. And as he goes for the leech. Perfect. Oh, sorry for skipping turns, guys. Uh, I don't know if this thing outspeeds me. I doubt it, but it might. Slash data trevenant. 
How do you spell Trevenant? Trevenant. Oh, it's T R E V E. T R E V E. Nets. Okay. Yeah, 56 base speed. Um, I really shouldn't just. Uh, I'm gonna T wave here. As he protects. I should have roosted. I'm roosting here. I'm gonna roost because I have to keep my health up. There's a Zygarde. As he takes so much damage. Wait a minute, hold up. I'm confused. Oh, it's it's the freaking I, I got you, I got you. That's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna intimidate this Landris, or this, uh, this, uh, Zygarde. The Intimidate right away. I can just spam Earthquake. I don't think it's running too much defense, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, spamming Earthquake is definitely my best play. He has leftovers, though, so it might be, he might be the Coil set. If he's the Coil set, we are in an issue. Actually, we're not too much of an issue, because Gengar just hardwalls the Coil set. Like, there's nothing you can do to Gengar, but I have to sack him on to do that, which kind of sucks. But my Togekiss is back at a high enough health. Um, I definitely should have just roosted and then air slashed that turn. But Trevenant's still alive. As long as his Trevenant's still alive, my Togekiss is in a good position. So I gotta keep that in mind. Um, we'll be back when he makes a... Okay, I switch into my Landorus as he definitely gets that Dragon Dance up. So that's good. His attack is lower. I'm good to go for Earthquake here. I can just spam it. He has nothing that can dodge it besides, uh, besides the... Um, the Tornadus, which once again, the more times that thing comes in, the better. Uh, especially with Landorus, like, I, I don't know, like a Hurricane can definitely kill me right now, so I have to be careful about that. But, if he comes in, I think I have to set Cacturn. I don't see another play. But I don't want to set Cacturn as long as this uh, Zygarde's around. I don't know, man. I don't really, I don't want to sack any of my Pokemon. The only sackable Pokemon is Togekiss, and the last thing I want to do is sack Togekiss. Even though, like, I guess it's worth sacking. I mean, it's going to survive a gunk shot from the, um, from what's it called? The, uh, I can't remember his name. Crow Gunk. Toxic Crook. Toxic Crook is his name. But yeah, I'm going for the Earthquake here. I mean, I'm not real enough to do anything yet. And that's the cool thing, the, from people that have watched my videos, they know how aggressive of a player I am. So he's probably thinking in his head, I don't want to go with his uh, to Tornadus because if he goes for Earthquake, I'm in trouble. He might make the safe play and go for Trevenant. That's definitely the play I would make here because I want to keep my Zygarde as full as, as full as possible. But at the same time, if he switches in, he's going to take 25%. Or he switches out, he's, the next time he comes in, he's taking over 25% because of the hazards. So I guess we'll see his play here and we'll be right back. Okay, he stayed in to go for uh, a Dragon Dance as I go for Earthquake, so he's taking that nice chip damage that I want him to take. Um, sadly though, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to actually kill him, but I'm just going to go for Earthquake now. I don't think he'll kill uh, at plus one. I could be wrong though. If he goes for Outrage, that'd be great for me. I get a turn of Roosting and I can just Air Slash. Even though I might just Air Slash right away. But yeah, the Earthquake did 38%. Now I'm kind of wishing that uh, I was Earthplate, but the Rocky Helmet's really useful because all of his attacks are definitely physical. So they're all going to make contact, which means he's going to take 16% from the uh, Rocky Helmet. And then I am max HP on my Scizor, so his E speed will not be doing too much, even though I probably should calc that, but I'll calc that later. I'll calc that when the time comes. Actually, I'm going to pause because once again, the plays are. Actually, I'll just show you guys. What am I talking about? Um, Let's see. Zygarde. OUD dance. We'll just assume that's a set. Actually, I should probably check my Landorus. My Earthquake did 42 to 49, so he's definitely running defense because I did 38%. So he might be uh, max HP. Earthquake did 35 to 42 at max HP, and I did 38. So that seems about right. Max HP with. Uh, Probably not in, like, in the, like somewhere around this, he's probably running less speed for the Dragon Dance, because um, that's what I taught him in his last match. But uh, let's, let's assume that versus um, Scizor. 
Let's just say choice band set with no vestments. Um, earthquake, Outrage, Stone Edge. No E speed on this set. He might not even be running E speed, which would be phenomenal. Extreme speed does, yeah, it does nothing. And my bullet punch is 32 to 38, which means after one more earthquake, if I do get it off, it kills. So, see, yeah, plus, well, he's only at plus one right now. Plus one, earthquake will kill me at plus one. Ugh, gotta keep that in mind. Um, oh, yeah, I got off the earthquake as he went for another dragon dance. Is he insane? My scissor just kills him. Like, unless he's running a unique set, but he has to contact me, which means after Rocky Helmet damage, my scissor definitely kills him. How much did that do? I did 37, so a little bit less of a roll, but that's fine. Uh, for, my, for my bullet punch to kill, uh, 32 to 38. So he just needs to take this Rocky Helmet damage, and um, let's assume the worst. Let's assume that he's 252, defense 2, 26. And then what if he's bold? Um, 20, uh, 24. So still, after this, after this rocky helmet damage that he has to take, unless he's going for Stone Edge, unless he's going to get the Stone Edge kill, which is again risky, his earthquake just kills at this range. Um, bullet punch should just come in and revenge him, and there's no way, there's no way he's going to kill my uh, Scizor, unless he gets like five crits in a row, using only one attack. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and pause, guys. Okay, so he went for Outrage and killed. He's at 22%. As we could tell from here, my Scizor's Bullet Punch definitely kills, but now we're in a predicament here. Do I want to go to Togekiss? I don't, that's too risky. I'm gonna go into Scizor here and just Bullet Punch. I mean, at this position, no matter who comes in, it's a really, it's, it's good for me. And there's no way he's switching out because first of all he dies upon switching um, and he doesn't really what, what's his switch into this thing I guess Trevenant he's gonna try to get the burn which I'm just gonna pursue the Trevenant I doubt he's running any speed on that Trevenant and if I remember correctly I definitely naturally outspeed Trevenant I'm a 65 I believe he was 56 so bullet punch will kill this Metachim's an issue but I'm pretty sure I knock out Metachim after hazards like, he can fake me out all he wants because it's going to do nothing, but unless he's running the bulky Metacham... Mega Metacham, OU you all out attacker. Fake out will do 11% to me. Bullet Punch is 70, which... Uh, min roll probably won't knock him out. But yeah, so, oh man, I wish it would tell me in the side. It doesn't tell me in the side my, like my other computer does. But Bullet Punch knocked him out as he does go into this thing. Yeah, he's at 70, so... Yeah, he was with a fake out. Fake out at thirteen percent. So, thirty percent fake out means that was like a max roll. He's definitely max invested in attack, and he has to be max invested in speed because I, I mean, why wouldn't you be? <laughs> bullet punch definitely kills at this range. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bullet punch here. If bullet punch doesn't kill, I'm in a. I'm still in a decent position. The problem is tornadus. If it doesn't kill, but. I am Cold I'm still Culperberry on my Gengar, so I gotta remember that. So this bull, I'm, I'm really risking a lot on his investment being non, no, um, what's it called? No HP, oh no defense, let's see what happens if he's max you. actually that's 16 HP. It's 252, bullet punch doesn't kill, if it's, if it's, it doesn't matter what the roll is, if bullet punch won't kill. Is this worth the risk? He's going for fire punch here, I don't have a switch into this. So I have to stay in. And yes, yes, he's not invested in, in any HP, which means uh, the bull punch kill does. Whew, that was nice. Okay, that's good. So now, no matter what, the, no matter what happens, I'm definitely preserving this scissor. I'm not gonna let anything happen to it. Um, as far as like Trevenant goes, I don't think I don't think Toxic Croak gets anything silly. He goes into Trevenant here. Now, Bullet Punch ain't gonna do shit to this thing, and I don't want it to be burned. I'd rather go into Tokikiss. I can just start air slashing things for damage now. I have no reason not to. He went for Protect there, which is great. I'm actually just gonna Roost. He probably wants to get HP back. Um, Roosting seems to be my best play. I could Also, I can alternatively go for Thunder Wave. I mean, whatever. Thunder Wave, 
triples his mons, puts me in a better position. There's nothing Emo Tree can really do to, um, yeah, he can leech seed me all he wants, that's fine. I'm just gonna roost here, he's probably just gonna protect. Yep, there it is. So I get my health back, um, but I'm in, a, I'm in the winning situation here. I'm gonna go for the air slash. So he's leech seed protect like Shadow Claw or yeah, up to 49%. Uh, as he goes for Willow. Oh, he's Leech Seed Willow Protect. He's he's Taunt Bait. <laughs> um, I'm gonna spend this turn going for Heal Bell. He's definitely gonna protect here. Alternatively, I don't know. I have to figure out what his attack is first before I. Uh, before I uh, switch into Gengar, because if he's Shadow Claw, I do not want to switch into Gengar. Um, but I do want to Air Slash, and then on his next Protect, I'll Roost, because I have no reason not to. Uh, actually, I'll probably double Air Slash this turn, because he's probably going to predict me to Roost on his Protect. He can't switch out either, because he'll be in a really bad position if he switches out. And at this point, Tokikiss is Sack, is Sack Fodder. Um, I'm not... Am I running Psychic? I think I was supposed to be running... I was definitely supposed to be running Psychic over Sludge Wave in my original team. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw from the beginning, but, uh, oh, where's the match? There it is. Um, but my t I lost my team that I built, so I had to go to my video and look at the sets really quick, but I think I missed Psychic. I ran Psychic for the, uh, for the Toxic Rook, and I have Sludge Wave, and Sludge Wave does absolutely nothing for me this game, so that's unfortunate for sure. Um, as he gets, as I get the flinch, which I don't think mattered because actually that kind of matters, but for me, because I really wanted to see what his attack he had, I'm just gonna go for air slash again, as he does go for protect. Maybe I'll get a chance to see his attack this turn. Um, I'm just gonna, he'll eventually get paralyzed on something that matters. Um, there you go, 51%. So I'm gonna, oh man, I really want to see his attack. Because if I'm safe to go into Gengar, I really want to go into Gengar. I'm just gonna air slash again. He keeps going for protect. All right, fine. I'll go for I'll go for roost. Okay, this is stalling. I'm just gonna skip turns here. I know you guys don't like when I skip turns, but this is ridiculous. Um, I'll go for air slash here. He might switch out, probably into the uh, torn, because torn is a pretty solid switch, and he'll get some leech seed back. But I don't know if he's in position. He might. Is he leftovers? Yeah, he's leftovers. So he's probably natural cure. I'm surprised he hasn't switched out. And doesn't kill, barely misses. I flinch him again. Um, uh, I should feel bad for these flinches. I really should. But, like, it's 60% chance. Alright, I got my health back. I am in the winning situation here. Unless he's, like, synthesis. Does Trevenant get synthesis? Well, at this point, he dies unless I get the lowest of low rolls, which I don't even think... I don't think a low roll of 45 exists. So he either has to switch out or sack this emo tree, which... I would sack this tree because it doesn't do anything for him anymore. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, he just sacks it. Okay, that's good for me. So I don't lose any Leech Seed health this turn. I get some leftovers back. He has to go into Tornadoes here, which I'm just going to fire off another Thunder Wave, just so that way uh, I don't have to rely on Scissor to kill it, and I can use Scissor for the, for the Toxic Croak. As he does go directly into Toxic Croak, probably just, just because he wants to uh, get off that... Uh, What's it called? What's it called? The Gunk Shot. I am just going to Air Slash here because uh, there's no point in Thunder Waving the, the, the Toxic Croak. Oh, ooh, sorry about that, guys. Oh, is my headphone okay? Okay, it's fine. Um, just slam my headphone against the computer. But there's no point in Thunder Waving this thing. I don't want it to hit me twice. Uh, I, I don't want it to hit me at all. It just goes for Fake Out. And he's Life Warp, so that's good for me, too. Um, he's getting health back, though, so that isn't that's not good for me. But if he misses his gunk shot or his poison, uh, damn it, he landed the gunk shot. Okay, but that's okay though. That's actually not okay. Um, I lied. Ah, uh, I'm in a position here. Scizor still kills the um, the torn, I believe. Let me double check. Tornadus, life orb, bullet punch is 65. I think I still kill it. So. Gengar it is. I really wish I was running my Psychic. That's the whole point of this set. I'm just going to Shadow Ball here. Colbert, come through. Ah, the Colbert Berry came through. And there you go, it's dead. Okay, thank God the Psychic... Not bringing the Psychic mat didn't matter.
Okay, so the Culver Berry came through. Everything went according to plan, which is phenomenal. And this thing comes in. Uh, it's going to take a Life Orb hit. I'm going to make a take two for Scizor, for sure. Um, so I'm just going to go for... Yeah, Shadow Ball does more after stab. And he's going to take that nice and powerful Life Orb hit. We go into Cacturn. We get off a Spiky Shield because we haven't revealed it yet. Even though we could Sucker. We'll Spiky Shield Sucker. We'll see what happens. As he goes for a U-turn, he takes that Spiky Shield damage. Life, No Life Orb. I guess it's because he didn't actually touch me. Uh, I'll Sucker Punch here. Uh, Cacturn with... I love that Cacturn got Spiky Shield. Definitely deserved on his end. Um, I mean, why wouldn't he get Spiky Shield? And uh, yeah, Sucker Punch to put him in range of the Bull Punch no matter what his EV spread is. And uh, of course, he'll take that Life Orb hit, so... I think that's game. I don't know, maybe like Pokemon has a secret mechanic where you can miss a move no matter what the move is, like Gen 1, and nobody's seen it until right now. Yeah, oh, that, that damn, Cacturn, you're powerful. Anyways, that's GG, it didn't even, oh, oh, man. GG, man. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you so much, that was a fun match. Your, your Houstonian Hoopas are now, oh, big surprise, I have to make an update video about this. Um, Marco Game, uh, Marco Marco Gaming 64, Marco Game 64, actually dropped out of the tournament, which means everybody that he's going to battle this whole league gets a win. Which means I got those two losses before, one from Marco, one from Nyx, Now I'm only one loss. So your Houstonian Hoopas are one and five right now. We are in the top in the league, right below Rain, who's undefeated with his Excadrill Hippowdon team. <laughs> So he's definitely someone I'm scared to battle. But 1-5, we're looking great right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, share. Check out Goo, awesome guy, great channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys.